Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today is the last day of my empties for the year of 2019. So I have all of this stuff <laughs> to get through to show you today. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in my sheet mask also in this video because I didn't do a whole lot of sheet masking for the month of December. I was lazy. So I'm going to do those first because there's not very many. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the Too Cool for School Coconut Eye Serum Eye Patch. I purchased these from Ulta and I was going to buy a whole bunch of these when I had a 20% off coupon and I was using my points but then I thought no I'm only going to get one because I don't know how they work and I'm glad I did because I did not like these I didn't feel like they were that hydrating um, they said they were oil serum and so I was expecting you know with them to be a little bit more oily than what they were I just didn't really care for them and I think I saved what they look like they were really big for one thing which was good because I mean it covered a lot of surface area I just didn't think that they were that hydrating so I would not repurchase those so maybe I just my expectation was different maybe that was the problem but anyway and then from G9 skin I had the pure milk bomb mask that um, I enjoyed using so I did like that I'm pretty sure I got this out of one of my pink soul boxes and then I also had the um, natural mask sheet from the same um, shea butter this one was not as hydrating as I thought it was going to be with it being shea butter and it had a very very thin essence so if I was to see these for sale I wouldn't buy these um, this also came in my uh, pink soul box so i wouldn't purchase those I, that was just kind of wrong and then from skin food was the re the real tea gel mask in rose and i did like this one so if i this was also in a um, my pink soul box <laughs> yeah all these came from different places except for that one that I bought so if I seen these for sale and I was in the market that I needed some sheet mask I would purchase some of those so those were the masks that I used not very many for for me so but anyway okay now to the empties I'll start off with some um, makeup wipes that I use um, these are definitely different than what I normally do, but I had these that I've had for a while and I wanted to use them up. They're from Ola Hendrickson. They are the Vitamin C Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths that I found at Marshall's. And um, I wouldn't buy these again. There was like a hundred of these in here. They were okay. I just, no, I don't know. I didn't really care for them so I have a shave cream that was from Trader Joe's um, I did like this and if I was ever at a Trader Joe's again I would purchase it I would not purchase it online because it's like triple the price online than what it is in store but the Trader Joe's that's available to me is really out of the way from where I would go shopping at when I go to Tulsa. So there's a, um, a product that's sold at Walmart from the brand Cremo that I like that's very similar to this. And it's easier for me to get. So, But I did like it and I enjoyed using it. From Avon, I have a Skin So Soft Bath Oil that my husband and I both use and this is definitely really really good especially this time of year put you're supposed to be just put a little bit in your bath water don't do like my husband does and puts I swear he will put probably two of these capsules in his bath water at least and that is way too much and I tried to school him on how much you're supposed to use of this and he's still just like pours too much of it this next bottle that I bring home 
I am going to have to t treat him like a little kid and I'm going to have to put it in his bath water for him so we don't overuse the skin so soft bath oil. But this is a really good bath oil to put into the water. It really helps hydrate the skin, especially this time of year when you're running the heat and your skin just dries out and is just itchy and crawly and cracky and plus him and I both like really hot baths so that's not good for your skin so this really helps to counteract the drying that you're doing to your body with the hot water. Shower gel from um, the body shop and this is in the pink grapefruit. Had this for a very long time. I had this actually in the shower. Our bathtub and our shower is completely separate. I do baths. Um, I do a shower on Sundays when I do my hair and stuff like that. So this took a really, really, really long time to use and I wouldn't buy the pink grapefruit again. I like the Satsuma scent better, but um, with just using it one day a week, it didn't really seem to irritate my skin, but I think if I was to use this daily, it could probably irritate, but it was okay. But it kind of, the grapefruit was like really, really strong. I have some um, cotton pads. These are from By Wish Trend, the multifunction cotton pads. I'm pretty sure these were like in a bundle pack that they did for Black Friday. I didn't participate in any of the Black Friday um, sales that they did this year. It was from last year. But if these, um, if I were to see them for sale, I wouldn't get them. I don't like them. They're they're not very good. So, and that's the only reason why I have them is because they came in a bundle, a bundle pack. Another product that I don't like is from It Cosmetics, and it's the Secret Sauce. Um, this is another product that I had that was almost done, and I pulled it out. I'm like, I'm going to finish it for this year, get it out of the collection. But every time I use this product, it always causes me to get bumps on my face somewhere on my forehead or in my chin. So I am not going to purchase this again, but I did finish it. Even though it caused me to get bumps, I did finish it, but I don't like it. This product was good. It's the Saturday Skin, um, I forget what it's called. Darn it. Oh, it's a moisturizer. It's called Get Glowing. Um, it's a probiotic uh, moisturizer. This was really good. I liked it. Um, you can find this at Sephora. This was really good. It was a good moisturizer, a good daytime moisturizer, and it worked really well underneath makeup, and that's how I used it. So that was a good one. Another one that I liked was from um, Herbivore, and it's the Pink Cloud Moisturizer. Um, what does this say? Pink Cloud something. And that came from Sephora, and I finished it. It was another one. This is the Rose Water Moisture Cream. I used this one at night as a nighttime moisturizer. This is another one that was partially used that I pulled out to finish it. So that's how I was able to use all three of these moisturizers. They were partials. Um, the It Cosmetic one and this one I used at night and the um, Saturday Skin was my daytime moisturizer. Finished up this um, Acewell 5.5 um, Licorice Toner. This is a wonderful product. It helps to um, with hyperpigmentation and I will definitely repurchase this. I have other products that I want to finish up first so this is going on my repurchase list but this is a really good product it is a Korean skincare product but it definitely helps with hyperpigmentation and I use it morning and night I use it twice a day really do like that product another product that I like is this one here from Blythe and it's the vitamin vital treatment eight nourishing bean um, essence is how I used it. Um, it's a little bit of a heavier essence, almost a serum-like essence. So how I would use this at, is a, um, a less step essence is how I would use it. I would do all my toners, um, 
Then I would use this and then a serum is how I do it. So because it was a little bit of a heavier product, as you can see, there's a little bit of a little bit left there, but that's how I would use that product. Really did like that. And I'm going to add that to my um, repurchase list. This product here is a um, hydrating primer and moisturizer and it's from Sun and Park and it is called the Beauty Filter Cream and it kind of left like a pearlescent finish to the skin and um, again it's like a moisturizer but it's also a primer. So I finished it up. Um, again it was one of those products that I had halfway used and then stuck away in a drawer and forgot about it and I was going through some of my products and I found it. I thought I'm going to pull this out and finish it up for this year. So I did finish it. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, it was nice and everything but um, it just wasn't that that wowy <laughs> if that's a word. Um, anyway it was nice but it's expensive and I just wouldn't repurchase it. This product I re repurchased, and it's the, the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Micro Pad uh, Milk Peel System. Um, I purchased this from Sephora, and what it was, it's a two-part system. This little box here had the little um, pads in it. One side of the pad was had a little bit of a rough texture to it. The other side was a smooth texture. So depending on how much of a... Um, peel action you wanted and then this had the solution in it which was the actual milk product and what you would do is you would take this product and put it onto the pad and then rub it onto your face and leave it on for a couple minutes and then you would rinse off and I really did like this and it was a really nice peel to use it was you know you could do it gentle by using the smooth side or you could do it a little bit more of a little bit more harsher peel if you wanted to by doing the, the texture side of the pad. But I did like that and that's going to go on the repurchase list also. This guy lasted forever too. This was in my shower and this is the Too Cool for School Egg Mousse Soap. It was a face wash and with it being a mousse in this little nozzle here, when you put it out you would just Barely, you had to just barely tap it and just get a little bit out. It's kind of like a shave cream because if you went too hard on it, you would get this big old ball of mousse and that was way too much to use on the face. So you just had to just do it just a little bit because it just took just a little, little bit to use to wash your face. So this little guy lasted like two years <laughs> in my shower because... Like I said, I only used it on Sundays, but I think even if you used it every single day with just the little bit that it took, I think it would last you a long, long time. But I did like it. It was not drying. It did not irritate, and it was good. I mean, I think anything from Too Cool for School is a good product anyway, and you can find this at Ulta, so it's easy to get. But I would just... I would just like be in the shower just like barely trying to tap that little nozzle so I wouldn't get like a big old handful of foam. <laughs> oh, here's another good product that's good for this time of year and it's the OGX Argan Oil and Morocco Oil um, in shower oil. Every time I would get it out of the bath and start to dry off, as soon as I would dry off, I mean, I pour a handful of this into my hand and start rubbing it on my arms and shoulders and legs just to really hydrate. I don't like using body lotion, body creams. I just don't like the way it feels on my skin, but I like this. And um, as soon as I get out and put this on, and then as soon as I get ready to go into bed, it's already absorbed so it doesn't mess up the sheets. It doesn't feel like I'm sticky or anything like that. It has a nice scent to it and I already had a backup of it. And because I was getting ready to go repurchase and I started going through my little bins just to make sure I didn't already have one and I had one ready to go so it's already in my bathroom already using it so great for winter definitely 
Another product that I'm going to, um, that I liked, that I probably will re repurchase is from Essence, and it's the Lash Primer. It's the Princess Lash Primer, or Lash Mascara. It's not a primer, but it's the mascara. I really do like this. When I first got it, I didn't like it. But after a couple of weeks of it drying out, I liked it. The more I used it, the more I liked it. So I thought it was a good one. And this is the Lash Princess Mascara. It's not the waterproof one. It's around $3, I think. It says false last effect. And it's the one that's kind of in the mint green packaging. Because there's so many of them, it gets kind of confusing. But that's the one that I like. So if you go to look for it, it's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara in the Mint Green to Packaging. <laughs> anyway, now a mascara that I didn't like, but I finished it, but I would never get it again. It's the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. This right here. This was like $25 from Sephora. Mm, no, I didn't like it. But I used it. It's done. I didn't like it. Would not get it again. Yuck. No. Did not. No, no, no. <sighs> Finished a lip liner from It Cosmetics. And this is in a color red. I don't know how many more red lip liners I have. But I'm getting down to the nitty gritty on... I'm getting starting to run out, I do believe. This is in the color Perfect Red. And <laughs> what's funny is I thought that you had to sharpen, that this part right here was sharpener, that you had to sharpen it, and I, mean, I just like tore it up. But you don't. You just twist it up, and it comes out. And if you want a sharpened tip, then you just sharpen the little crayon part itself not this black part so don't do that because <laughs> you will tear up your little dispenser here and then it's rough on the lip and yeah don't do that <laughs> so anyway i do like those though that um it cosmetic lip liners they're good they stay on for a really long time then i have from kevin aquan this was a, a beauty oil that acts as a primer and a hydrator as the Neo Elixir Weightless Beauty Oil. This was really good and it was it sunk into the skin really, really nice. I would put it on as I would sit down at my um, vanity, I would put it on as soon as I sit down, then I would put my eye primer on and do my eye makeup. And then by the time I was ready to start putting my foundation on, it was sunk into the skin and I would use it as a primer also. I liked it and um, it was good. I think this was sent to me for review a long time ago. Again, this is a product that I found in one of my drawers that was tucked away. I used it part partially and then put it away and started using something else. Pulled it out to finish it up for this year. Ended up really, really enjoying it. So, um, probably will put this on the repurchase list for later in the year. I'm really, 2020, I'm really going to concentrate on using up products that I already have because I really want to pare down my products. So that's why I keep saying I'm going to put it on my repurchase list so I don't forget about them because I really want to use up what I've got before I keep buying more stuff. Alrighty, now I have some products that are like deluxe size samples. That was all of the full size stuff. I had a couple of the, um, what are, what is this called? Something molecules that was sent from Beautylish and Beautylish um, orders good molecules. This was the cleansing balm, I had two of those. I didn't really care for them, they were okay. I'm not, I wouldn't go and like buy them because they were, they were okay. Let me turn my phone off. Any other time it would be quiet. But this product that was sent, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. This product I did like, and I'm going to put this on my um, to buy later product. And this is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. 
I did like that. That was a good niacinamide product. Didn't irritate. Um, it worked well under makeup. It didn't peel up. Um, I liked it. So that is something that I'm con to consider purchasing once I get through my kajillion toners that I have. So when I get ready to purchase a toner, I'm going to get one of those. And then I had um, from Belif a um, moisturizing eye balm. This is a really good, just a moisturizing eye cream. It doesn't claim to do anything, not that I know of, it just um, hydrates. Yep, and that's what it does. It hydrates and good for if you have dry under eyes. In my travel bag, I had a toothpaste that I finished and that was from Sensodyne. Good. Can't complain. I also finished from Rin a guy gly, gly, glycolactic radiance renewal mask. Whew. This was good. It was just a little deluxe size sample. I liked it. I don't know if I would um, purchase the full size because it's pretty expensive, but it was good. I enjoyed it. And then this product here was from Wilmesia, uh, which is from Glow Recipe. And it was a green tea serum toner for a balance deeply, to balance and deeply hydrate. Um, it was okay. It wasn't anything that I just thought was astounding. So I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase or purchase. Finished some glow drops from Algenist. This is the Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. These were really nice. This was a deluxe um, sample size, I do believe. I think this was the last one. I think I had three of them that came like in a little um, sample pack. And this was the last one. This was in the color, what was the color of this one? champagne so then I finished those up then I had a couple of mascaras the Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara I did like this one I like the wand on it I like the big chubby wand <laughs> I like that kind of wand and then this one I did not like and this is the um, Estee Lauder sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara this did not do any kind of multiplying anything <laughs> or giving any kind of volume. I did not like that at all. So one I liked, one I did it. And then I have some declutter products. One is a little shampoo and I'm glad I just bought the little travel trial size of the caviar from Alternia, Alterna anti-aging restructing bond repair shampoo. This stuff, after just a couple of days, after shampooing my hair with this stuff, my hair would be so grungy and gross feeling. Ugh, it was horrible. This is about halfway gone. I think I used this like three times before I really realized that it was this product that was making my hair feel and just be gross. <laughs> so is gone. And then this little guy, I'm finally getting rid of it. I've had this thing for years. I mean, years, probably at least 10 years. I've had this and it's an eyeshadow from Clinique in rich plum. Uh, I use quite a bit of it. <laughs> at one time, this was probably the only eyeshadow I had. And at one time, believe it or not, purple was the only color of eyeshadow that I would ever, ever wear. I would never wear greens or browns or pinks or mauves or anything. It always had to be purple. That's it. That's all I would wear was purple eyeshadow. But anyway, I think I'm going to finally let it go because I just had it for so long. And then this guy here from Nukes, which was a lip balm, I bought it because everybody had been talking and talking about the Nukes and how well and how good it was. I bought it a couple of years ago, never really used it, and it is like completely dried out. I mean, it is just, yeah, it's not even good. 
Well, I say it's dried out, but it's really not. But it's old. I mean, it's been sitting there for a while. I know I've had it for a couple years, maybe three years. Anyway, I'm decluttering it. So, that wraps up my empties for the end of the year. But before you go, don't, don't leave me yet because... I have been keeping track every single month of the amount that I use as far as dollar wise and of course I keep track of the number of pieces that I use every month so this is for December and I have like October November um, July you know, I just keep track. I um, look up each product and I write down, you know, the cost of it, everything. So, my totals for 2019, full-size products, the amount of the full-size products that I use, I use 193 full-size products. My sample sizes, which include deluxe size samples um, and the little foil samples, which I didn't have a whole lot of those, but it's mostly the deluxe size samples. But anyway, I had 73 total sample sizes that I used up. In mask, which was mostly sheet mask, that's what I included. With sheet mask, I used a total of 208 sheet masks for the year. So, the total value, dollar wise, of everything combined for the year was. Can you guess? What's your guess? How much do you think I used dollar wise? Well, let me tell you. I could probably have bought a used car for this amount. Yeah, a used car. I could have, oh, I could have went on a cruise with this amount of money. Yeah, could have went on a cruise. Anyway, let me just tell you. It was $5,633. Yeah, was the total amount of dollar amount of all of my trash, all the stuff that I used up for the whole month or the whole year of 2019. And um, 2018, the total amount was $5,065. So the dollar amount was a little bit more, not a whole lot more. <sighs> yeah, and my total pieces, yeah, so that was it. That was my totals for the year of 2019. So I'm really hoping for 2020 that um, those totals are a lot higher because I really want to really concentrate on using up a lot of products. Um, I'm going to go through in the next few days and pull out products, a lot of my partial products, and just really concentrate on the next few months I finish those products up because I have a lot of stuff that, you know, I use part way and then I'll get something new and I'll put that aside and start using, you know, the new product and, you know, pushing that other stuff aside. Not that that's bad, but you know how it is. You get something new, you want to use it. So anyway, that is it for um, the empties. No more empties. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of January, and we'll see how I did for January and see if I was able to use some of my products. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a happy, happy new year, and be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.